your record. Now, get an off-road ready 4Runner with $750 cash back. Or pick a Tacoma with a $299 a month lease. Or buy with $1,000 cash back from Toyota. Save on the last of the 2018s. Come in today. Toyota. Let's go places. Tonight, it's your questions answered about Sunday's protests downtown. The Park Police Chief talks about safety. Business owners talk about whether they'll serve white nationalists. And you'll meet a woman who turns disagreement into discussion. The Verify team has some tools to show you that can help you figure out if a Twitter post came from a person or a bot. A jury backs a man who says a popular weed killer gave him cancer. And we posted yellow weather alerts for Saturday and Sunday. I'll time out your forecast so you can plan your weekend. The News at 11 team is ready. Let's get started. And good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. Let's get right to the latest information about those protests happening downtown on Sunday. The center of it all, Lafayette Square, right in front of the White House. Now that is the turf of the U.S. Park Police. And earlier today, we had a chance to ask their chief some questions about the plan to keep things safe. We saw the protest groups not separated in Charlottesville, and that was one of the big criticisms, that they were allowed to be together and there was this fighting going on. I'm sure you've looked at that and you have your own protocol. How are you going to keep them separate? Uh, so we do that with a combination of uniformed officers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a great horse mounting unit that helps us in that regard. We also have barriers that we use. What's legal and what's not here? So every day in this park right here, firearms are prohibited. The District of Columbia has taken the extra step in designating this a special event that no one legally that has a concealed permit carry in Washington, D.C. can carry in this event. So bottom line, no firearms here in this park. But our officers also know that other objects that aren't necessarily weapons can be used as weapons. Could they take a stick away from somebody if, they, if somebody was brandishing that stick like a weapon? Of course, any type of display or intent with anything. Uh, for that matter, a person's fist or their foot. Law enforcement agents will form a barrier between the two sides on Sunday. The white nationalists have a permit for the southwest corner. That's the section in red. The counter protesters have the northeast corner marked in white. Now, part of the security plan involves road closures. Everything you see in your screen in red is closed from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sunday. But depending on what happens at the protests, those closures could last longer. They center around the White House into the West End and near GW University. So let's talk about life around the protests in the neighborhoods near where they're happening. Can Airbnb hosts, ride share drivers, even restaurants refuse service to white nationalists because of their beliefs. We asked John Henry to find out in a story that's new at 11. Not far from here at the White House, you can find a restaurant in Vermont named Lincoln. That business recently posted a sign on its door, a throwback to some famous words by that president. Lincoln is a house which divided against itself will never stand. Everyone is welcome as long as you ascribe to those beliefs of equality and opportunity. But his restaurant will only open for brunch Sunday, not dinner. We didn't want our employees to be in the position of having to say to guests, you are not welcome here. We said it's a lot more important that we make a very, very clear and bold statement about who we are. Equinox is a stone's throw away from Lafayette Park, and they say they reserve the right to turn away any person that may make their staff feel uncomfortable. Their beliefs are very progressive and from all parts of the world, so the last thing that we would want is to endanger their safety and obviously our clientele's safety. It's not really different than refusing service to someone who's overly intoxicated either. I don't want this to be, you know, I don't, we're not trying to do some reverse discrimination here. This is just about comfort. You may be curious, is this something a business can even legally do? The Restaurant Association of Metropolitan Washington consulted with its lawyers. They told the group businesses cannot refuse service based on discriminatory reasons against protected classes. But choosing not to host an ideological fringe group likely would not violate D.C. law. Now, companies like Uber, Lyft, and Airbnb have also advised their users that they can turn away customers if they feel uncomfortable as well. From Lafayette Park, John Henry, W, USA 9. And here's another angle on this story that's all new at 11. Can you persuade someone to give up their racist beliefs? One counter protester says you can. She was in Charlottesville a year ago and she told Mike Valerio what she's doing to fight the alt-right. The folks who were on UVA's campus with tiki torches are someone's fathers or someone's uncle. 